Hello, Year 7. I'm not in, so let's have a look at what we can do for today's lesson. First off, let's check how the review questions went. And I think nearly everyone has them finished. The orange, of course, you can check, see whether you have finished. You know that, Jonathan. Again, you need to let me know, show the evidence that they are done. So you can see that most people are up to date with the work. So let's go back and have a look. Now, for our assignment work, the endangered species assignment, when you click on that, you get this folder, you get this up, of course, and you create the submission in the usual way and the marking scheme. So we've got a planning sheet, which you need to put in first, and then the classification assignment itself. So let's have a look at those two. Here's the animal assignment planning sheet. Now, what you have to do with this is to just fill it in with dot points, select your animal, and this is just like a checklist for what you're going to cover and submit it as soon as you've done it because you're allowed multiple submissions online. And of course, this, this assignment, you're allowed to submit online in any format that you want to. These are the things that you need to make sure you're going to cover. Title of the animal, of course, description, diet, where it fits in the food chain, the habitat and range, life cycle and reproduction, enemies, classification. And if it is an endangered species, you need to then refer to and explain and show hyperlinks to the organisation that's trying to save it and why they're trying to save it, how they're doing it. And then something interesting about your animal, which you can put in in any way that you want to. Slide 10, you don't really need it. But the bibliography we've spoken about. So that's just a planning sheet and a checklist for you to submit as soon as you've got that. You only need dot points on this, a word here and there. So let's go and have a look at the other one. So you're selecting an Australian native animal. and this gives you some ideas of what you could do. I don't mind as long as it's a native animal. Okay, you can present it using any online format you want. You could do it as a as a, a YouTube video. You can be a narrator, whatever you like. That's fine. We've spoken about that. And of course, when you're doing illustrations and videos and whatnot, they must be to illustrate a point, not just in there as pretty pictures. Don't forget we spoke about putting it into your own words, not just doing a copy and paste on researchers and some professors' work. So this is a little bit more here. You don't need to submit this. This is just making sure that you've got everything done in each of those slides, each of those boxes in the planning sheet. You go through those see how it moves, see what it eats, where it fits in the food chain, how does it get its food, where it lives, what type of environment it is. We did habitat and interactions, the life cycle. You can go over it. And like we said, where it fits in the food chain, some en enemies, things that would attack it or eat it. Now with the classification, we did that in chapter six. And if you go to, you go to, let me see where I had it, here, page 265 in the textbook. This is what I'm wanting you to cover here. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Of course, they're all animal kingdom. There are some of the examples there on page 265 of how it's done. Now, here's some other examples you can see. And this is what, how I want you to do it, laid it out like this. So you can go through the book there and have a look at those. Now, obviously, all animal ones. So you're going through those and having a look at those. 
And of course, we spoke about the bibliography, how to do it and how to use the URL. And you can see up here on this one here, that it's not going to be a URL because it is a, it is a Word document. But if we come across to here, here's the URL here, there. And you can copy and paste that into your, into your assignment, your bibliography and make sure you put the, the date accessed and the name of the site and who runs it. And of course, some of the criteria that we're going to be using to cover that. You can spend time today doing your assignment, getting it brushed up. You've got to get that planning sheet in first. Don't mind when that is, as long as you get it in as soon as you can. The next. The next topic we'll be looking at is forces. So if we go to the class page, class page, you'll notice that we've opened forces and this is some of the work and it's come across here in the to work box. So if you click on forces, you want to go and have a look at that. Then 7.1 would be what are forces. You come and Cross and have a look at that. You can see some of the things here, some videos there. They are professional videos and there's a, an introduction video that I've done to introduce forces. And then another one that I've done about a force being a push, a pull or a twist. So you can be having a look at that. So for today's lesson, you need to be concentrating on your assignment. Step one, get the planning sheet done and submit it. Just submit it online and I'm going to find the planning sheet and then come back and start on your oh, that's not right. start on your animals assignment itself, making sure you get everything covered. And should you wish to, you can then go and have a look at the next topic, which is forces. Thank you, year seven.